So I pretty much started YouTube because I wasn't able to find any good resources online for cooking Lao food. I was constantly posting pictures on Facebook and a lot of my friends were asking me for instructions on how to make things and it just became kind of repetitive. I am a visual learner so I kind of went back and forth on whether or not I wanted to start a blog or a YouTube channel. I figured, you know what? I learn better from watching people do things. So that is basically how YouTube started. Currently, I am 100% focused on YouTube. Yes, I was born in the States. I was born in New York. In Minneapolis, Minnesota. Let's see, Pho 79, Mandarin Kitchen for dim sum only. Pho Ta Bei, I think I'm saying that correctly, but I have been calling it car wash for years because it's right across the street from a car wash. Amazing Thailand and Rainbow Chinese. My ethnicity is Lao. Yes. My mom is from the south, so Thai Thai, and my dad is from the north, so Sam Nua. My Lao is getting better. It was mixed with a lot of English, but I've started speaking more to my family in Lao because I just don't want to lose it. And I just I wished that when I was younger, you know, it was a cool thing to speak other languages. And I didn't really grow up that way because all I wanted to do was be super American. I mean, I can't really hold a conversation with my grandparents, but with my mom and like my aunts and uncles and stuff, you know, who understand English, um, I can speak to them in Lao, but it is mixed with English. I am 5'6", and I asked my mom how I got so tall because my parents aren't tall. My mom is like 5 foot and my dad was like 5'2", and she did say that when she was pregnant with me, she ate everything. She had a lot of mango and sour apple cravings. Growing up in the U.S., is a, it's a little bit different as well, you know, because you do have resources to different types of food and vitamins and all of those things, so I don't know. I have never visited Laos and up until last year I never really had a des huge desire to. I think it was because my parents kind of like scared me from their visits and everything. They would go to the villages. If I'm being honest I'm just not accustomed to that so it did scare me but most recently I have been thinking about going. I am planning to go either by the end of this year or early next year. Nam Khao. You guys don't know what that is. It's a crispy rice salad with fermented sour pork and like pork skin and fresh herbs. I could probably eat that every day and there is a video on that if you guys want to check that out. I would have to say dumplings, gnocchi, thick noodles, anything that's savory or um, dense I really like. Anything vanilla. It could be vanilla ice cream, vanilla cheesecake. I'm not a big fan of chocolate, so that's why I love vanilla anything. Watermelon and Asian pear. I probably do dim sum every few months. Uh, Mandarin Kitchen is the my favorite place for dim sum here in the city. I used to host dot scene parties. I love anything where you can bring a group of people together to eat. You don't really need an excuse for that and when food can be enjoyed with lots of people, I think it tastes better. Honestly, I'm not good at following instructions. Rice over the stove. prime rib and it's something that my friends still talk about to this day. I think I made it like five years ago and I have not been able to make it as good ever since. Yes, whoever is willing to try. Elf, The Blind Side, Frozen, Devil Wears Prada, and Matilda. 
Sour Patch Kids by Bryce Vine. I'm going to have to play a little clip for you guys because that is my life motto. On Bended Knee by Boys to Men, Blank Space by Taylor Swift, My Girl by The Temptations, and you guys are going to laugh, Disco Inferno by 50 Cent. <laughs> I love working out. Anything physical, active, I love. I'm not a huge outdoor active person, but over the last couple summers, I have to say, I have been doing a lot more activity outside, whether it's biking or jogging. I did like some outdoor yoga classes, and I thought that was really fun. Anything to be in the sun, I'm all for it. Dim lit spaces freak me out. Public bathrooms, yeah. Edible ones. Bali and the Maldives. No. I will travel anywhere and meet up with anyone who is willing to eat. Yes, you can feed me. This was one of my favorite questions. So from my own personal experience and what I find super attractive and earns bonus points is effort. And this goes for me in all of my relationships, whether it's um, a romantic one or in my friendships or whatever. I love people who take the time to listen to things that I am interested in or things that I enjoy doing or eating, um, restaurants that I like going to. For me, a perfect date would be someone who takes the time to figure out what your interests are. So if you did like a spin-off of a favorite pasta dish that I really liked or you know, just knowing that you took the time to do some research on um, my interests, that would definitely score points, at least for me. If I had one last meal, it would be to cook for my parents. If you've been following me for a while, you know that my father passed away about six years ago. He never got the chance to see this side of me. Growing up, I did not like being in the kitchen, and it was just one of those things where I was like really rebellious, and I just hated being told what to do. I think I realized how much love went into cooking for people. This is making me a little emotional, but um, I know that he's watching, and that he sees that I am sharing my recipes and everything with the world, and I know that he's proud. But yes, if I was able to have one last meal with anyone, it would be with my parents. So, so that wraps up my get to know me video. If you guys like this type of video, please comment below and subscribe. I hope to see you guys around Facebook and Instagram and of course on YouTube.